How about a slice of pie? Key lime. Okay, great. Really good. It is. Hello, guys. Um, I uh, want to talk a bit about Loki here about the key lime pie and I told someone some day ago uh, that um, you better someone someone is asking me aren't you ashamed aren't you ashamed and I say no but aren't you ashamed of this? No, I'm not. I can... Um, I told uh, told that person, a close, a close person, no, I can be lazy, lazy and, and do nothing for one million, one million years. And I wouldn't feel bad about it. I wouldn't have bad conscience for being lazy for a million years or something like that. Um, and it continues. But aren't you ashamed of the fact that this and that? No, no I'm not. I'm not ashamed of anything. And then I say, but you should be ashamed. You will be ashamed. I, 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 I say to the materialist, you will be ashamed, right? And there is an uncertainty in, in the other person. But how can the person be uncertain if it was was so certain about how ashamed I should feel? How can that be? So this person that is clinging to materialism, I don't blame it, okay? It is natural to do that, to cling to, cling to materialis materialism, to to um, I mean, to see it as it's it's the it's the most important thing uh, to to um, to maximize this materialism. It's very natural, but what's happening here? And, uh, and the person can actually see it how um, because it's it's a close person, uh, and it can see how. How uh, what I talk about uh, break into reality. So I, I tell that person, you know, you know what? For each day that passes, my imaginary world, my fantasy world, is becoming more and more real. For every day that passes. And all of a sudden, it's going to be all around you. You're going to be inside it. And that's when you're ashamed. That's when it happens. Because I... I mean, there's a reason why I'm not ashamed. 
uh, about uh, my clear lack in, in performance when it comes to material performance when it comes to performance as as in what's as expected by a man uh, there's a reason why I don't why I'm not ashamed and that's because I did other things I did things that I consider to be helpful to the greater good and uh, these are things that maybe will not be um, admitted you know but uh, yeah yeah it's not right uh, but so I tell the other person would you like to have the mask on all the time would you like to have vaccine passports would you like to have these things uh, on you onto you would you would you like to have this and of course it says no you know but um, but that's the thing um, but for each day that passes, it feels like my imaginary world is surrounding the real world and taking it over with everyone inside it. people will be ashamed right maybe that's the everlasting life I'm thinking for myself uh, so um, yeah like what I mean is yeah, what do I mean I don't know right but it's the, it's the male, the female, um, So yeah, it feels like my world is my my so-called my so-called logical world of that explains everything, uh, the truth around about things. Uh, it is um, it is uh, devouring the entire world. It seems like my theories are taking it over, and I welcome you to oppose my theories I don't I, I don't think it's possible but you're welcome to do it unless you lie to yourself or use too much rhetorics I will notice that and I will uh, don't I will not like it um, what's interesting is truth and not to win um, because when it comes to rhetorics and those that are good at rhetorics they are pathological liars they love lying and they lie to their, themselves yeah
So how come uh, Loki, the most popular series on um, uh, on this um, what it's called Disney? Uh, why is it such a central um, scene? Why is key lime pie there? Why why is it lime? You know? Yeah, you know, right? And I want to remind you, it's not my fault that my theories are devouring the world. It's just how it happens to be. And um, yeah. So. So how can it be stopped, right? I don't think it can. I mean, it, it was always there in, in the background. It was just a matter of finding it, finding the truth and, and uh, meaningfulness of things. Yeah. Uh, w what I notice is that every person that opposes me do it do it um, they use rhetorics i can notice their lack of self introspection i can notice notice that they are liars and um, i have actually nothing against being wrong and that's how i found truth I, I was wrong so much that I started to like it, actually. I, 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 I like to be wrong. I, I, it was so, it was so uh, pleasant to be taught a lesson about why I'm wrong and why I need to restructure everything in my mind about how I see things. It is my greatest pleasure I, I believe to be wrong it's absolutely amazing feeling to be wrong um, yeah it's it's basically my um, it's like the best orgasm almost to be wrong uh, I love it actually um, and um, it was a long time ago I was wrong and that's not that stimulating to be honest and uh, yeah, I like cognitive dissonance. That's the word for it. I, I, I love the feeling of cognitive dissonance and feeling how I oppose my, myself. I like to feel how I, how, how, how I have two contradictive um, theories in my mind. And I like the feeling of them fight, fighting in my mind the contradictory theories but um, I've, I've come so far now that I don't feel that anymore and that's sad I like this feeling of being wrong but every person that opposes me will I will see how they are manipulative or will try to do these tricks you know give me a bit of of something but then at the same time trying to push me down in, in, in a in a not in a not so so kind way not, not so how do you say not true using not truth you know and, and suddenly I see through it and I see oh it's it's a lie you know it, it's it's uh, impure it's it's uh, it's crap you know but yeah I love being wrong and uh, it's just very long ago I was and that's sad it's sad and that's why my theories are taking over the world because um, no one can oppose me and that's sad 
uh, but at the same time finding the truth about metamorphosis uh, transmutation um, evolution and and this uh, kind of uh, birth pains about change changing is is uh, amazing to 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 actually see that your theories are um, uh, congruent with the background pattern of reality and culture and and uh, uh, some deeper core aspects of reality that was never before noticed uh, of course it's it's another kind of um, of feeling uh, so uh, sure sure thing and and um, but yeah my ultimate uh, my ultimate uh, uh, best feeling is to be wrong to absolutely feel it to, to be filled with the feeling of being wrong uh, and have have to reorganize my brain is like it's the best thing I know I really love it and uh, no one else does you know everyone hates that feeling but I love it and uh, that's that's my my secret I believe uh, because everyone hates that that shit everyone hates to be wrong I love it um, but I'm not wrong and it was a long time ago I was I'm trying to be wrong I'm, no, I'm trying I'm, I'm, I'm trying to to uh, like I am provoking you with this shit uh, it's not shit you know it's good stuff but I am provoking you it's freaking irritating with a lime in, in Loki uh, and it's so central to the scene and it's so provocative and um, some of you are really uh, provoked by it and maybe you hate me and uh, maybe you uh, think I'm crazy and so on uh, but uh, you need to convince you need to convince me in in, in a in, in a using logic or rational arguments um, you need to show me the pattern of reality if I f if I got it wrong but at this stage I'm sure I didn't get it wrong and I, I hope that I'm not I'm not getting blinded by my by me being so so convinced you know I'm very convinced of this and I hope it's not blinding me to something even more deep that I'm missing but I don't think so um, so yeah uh, this stuff this stuff is devouring the world and everyone in it and at some stage no one will ask me if I'm ashamed but feel grateful I believe uh, but at this stage I'm mostly asked if I'm ashamed and, I, I, and I'm at the stage of truly not feeling ashamed anymore about myself about what I do how I am and, and uh, I'm not ashamed of myself even though I fulfill every criteria of what a man shouldn't be and how you should be I'm, I'm, I'm far from that you know but it's too late in some sense I I guess I communicate I communicated efficiently with my unconscious mind and that has resulted in something something more as you can see and I believe that for each day that passes this uh, this sensation and this 
these signs will appear more and more and more until until it's clear to everyone and the people that felt the least ashamed will feel the most ashamed and the people that felt the most ashamed will feel the least ashamed that's what i believe and uh, i'm pretty sure it's going to happen it's um, i just feel very convinced about this and i see the signs and so on i'm still waiting for people to oppose me in, in a way that is not uh, without logical fallacies, uh, without uh, leaving the ration rationality behind, without me detecting um, uh, rhetorics. Rhetor rhetorics. It's so much rhetorics and lies and liars just, just uh, clinging to be liars forever, you know. And uh, that's not that's not the way to oppose me. You have to somewhat play on on a playground where I actually can defend myself. If you entirely leave that rational playing field, that I, I notice that you play with with uh, dishonest rules because you leave me no no way of defending myself. Okay, let's end the video. I hope you're having a good day, guys. Um, the children were not returned, so I'm quite upset about that. And we'll see what happens, right? Uh, so, yeah, my old friend. I don't have any friends any longer. Uh, I, I, I don't think I will, any, I will not have any friends from now on. For the rest of my life. I believe so. Truly, I truly do. Okay. And. Um, um, there. Um, so this old. That used to be a friend. He, he lost the. I talked to him on the phone. And he lost the. The. Uh, the right for his children. Uh, and so they are on a secret place now. And so, and it's been like that for a month. It's four, four kids. The youngest is one and a half years old. And this is the kind of world you live in right now. And that's, that's pathetic. Uh, so, let's end it. Um, see you. Bye bye.